I told Nam de Kano, okay, this is Nam de Kano's case. I told him, you were in your mom's womb when the war was being fought. He abused me. This is coming from Edwin Clark. Pa Edwin Clark, an elder statesman and leader of the Southern and Middle Belt Leaders Forum, has spoken about his experience with Nam de Kano. He explained that he once criticized Kano for his extreme actions and reminded him that he was not born during the Civil War of 1967. A conflict that had a significant impact on Nigeria. In a report shared today by the son, pa Clark said he acknowledged Kano's right to protest but urged him to avoid violence and actions harmful to the country. He said this advice did not sit well with Kano, who abused him. In pa Clark's words, I accuse him that you were that uh, you were not born or you were still in your mother's womb when the civil war was going on in 1967 and you were not born at that time take it easy you have every right to demonstrate but don't kill people don't do things that are not good for the country he abused me back this is what uh, uh edwin clark is saying so what do we have to derive from this statement from this uh, other statement did the name they cannot kill anybody? The question is that that is not the issue because court has already vindicated him. Court has already asked him to be, you know, to ask him to go. So why are they still holding him? If really, and I've said it times with us number, if Nam de Kano committed any offense, why are they what are they waiting for to give that judgment against him? That is what we are supposed to be talking, whether he did it or not, because court has already vindicated him court has already discharged and acquitted him so all this a uh, back and forth what he did or what he did not did if really the government is sure of what they are saying if the government is so confident why are they still keeping him why have they not tried him that is my own point somebody has done this and done that then why are you keeping him and you're just is that is he going to be there forever is that how things have been done anybody will commit offense he go reap the the the, the results of what he has done but in this case it is not happening you are not you can't it can't it can't be chewed and it cannot be you know speed out so what kind of a country what kind of a law or what kind of a system are we practicing when and the evil of your generation continuity is up and is still on is so hate evil and that is the bedrock of nigeria all these men called elders are the ones causing the nonsense we face in Nigeria today. Gone are those days of the elders. They will always say what an elder sees while sitting down, may take a young man climbing a tree to sit or may not see, even see. This is a big lie from the pit of hell. Were you there? Well, Mr. Mike, mind your language. Did you tell your family where your mother entered during the war? Equal rights and justice keeps nations together. Kano is right in the past with what is happening now in the country. Yet when elders see the truth and turn their back for the sake of a senseless reason, the younger generation will rain insults and curses on him or her. Elders know the truth, but fear and selfishness, they speak, because of the fear and selfishness, they speak out rubbish. Your trademark remains tribalism and foolishness like your resort forger an old dirty criminal president and gambler if you can't see this then you are not serious please mr clark i respect you but where some people decide to be full and slaves Igbos are not as a proud sbf soldier standing tall self-determination struggle enshrined in the united nations charter is not an offense after over 50 years same struggle continues South South resources are looted daily. Now they found good. It is not Zamfara good. And all of you, keep quiet. You don't know anything. You better ask us, Biafra soldiers. You must be lying. I was in Kano when they, they broke out. One thing about uh, these people is the insult. Of course, if you do any, you see any, you will know the insult. The question I'm always asking you will know the insult. Why? have uh, 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 things not changed for the better all they want is that oh you have to be politically correct respect per plan a black american named roy c okay 
Most of the issues happening between Igbos and Yorubas was ignited by Kanu, not 2023 election. Really? Continues. He has not seen what happened to the people who tell the elders their mouths are smelling. Okay. Um, can you imagine insulting everyone that doesn't agree with him? Method of prophetess. And all this on our story. If he has done wrong, where could they jail him now? Why are you keep him in? Him? <laughs> it's not so powerful to the extent that you people cannot jail him. If you are sure of yourself. Yes, Nam they cannot do this. He did that, he did that. So what is holding your judiciary? What is holding your judges? To serve him the, the right punishment. No matter how dark the night is, the sun will always rise in the east. Okay? Um Oga, if everybody had behaved like Nnamdekano, Nigeria government would have sit up. Nigeria would have been better. Everybody is keeping quiet and politicians doing whatever they like because they know you cannot do anything. Onga is everywhere. Okay? Onga is everywhere. Yes, he was fighting just cause, Baba. Igbo has been cheated. Kano is symbol of Igbo cheating. Oga, if you and your people are enjoying in Nigeria, we South East we are not okay. We are not okay at all. We are not okay. But who is okay? Are they okay? Are they okay? Was Unamde Kano killing people? Since Niger Delta people have been agitating and taking bribe from Hausa Fulani, has anything changed? Unamde Kano has its own style of agitation. Whether it was born before or after the war, it's immaterial. After all, he met Ujuku alive before he died, and Nnamdi Kano is as well educated as more, so no history properly, more than the many elders today. Nnamdi Kano is a genius, and he is that person Igbos and Nigerians need for total depression. So guys, let's say your opinion and have your take on this. Thank you.